परिजन सहित कृष्ण चैतन्य देव श्री राधा कृष्ण प्रधान सहगन ललिता शिव विशाखा हे कृष्ण करुणा सिंधु दीन बंधु जगत फते गोपेश गोपे कांता राधा कांत नमस्ते तप्त कंचन गौरांगी श्री राधे वृंदवनेश्वरी वृष भानु तुद देवी प्रणमा हरि प्रिय वंचा कल्पतरु भैस कृपा सिंधु वे वचा पति तरा पवने वैष्णे भ्य नमो नम जय श्री कृष्ण चैतन्य प्रभु नित्यानंद श्री अद्वैत गदाधर शिव सदि गौर भक्त वृंद हरे कृष्ण हरे कृष्ण 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 हरे 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 राम हरे राम 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 हरे हरे जगत गुरु शुल प्रपात की जय स्टार्ट फ्रॉम हेयर अ विक्टिम ऑफ अफेक्शन इशु प्रभु यू वांट टू स्टार्ट Okay, Prabhu ji. As a person put on new garments, giving up the old ones. Similarly, the soul accepts the new material body, giving up the old and useless one. Bhagavad Gita 2.22. In the first century BC, the Roman poet Ovid penned these verses describing the fate of an unfortunate person, who by his action and desire slid a few. notches down the evolution evolutionary scale i am ashamed to tell you but i'll tell i had a bristle sprouting on me i could not speak but only gr- grunting sounds come out instead of words i felt my mouth grow harder i had a snout instead of a nose and my face bent over to see the crowd my neck swelled up with the great muscles mm. and the hand that lifted up the cup to my lips made footprints on the ground shrimad bhagavatam composed some these some 3000 years before over times contains the following unique story that dramatically reveals the principle of reincarnation and in action india's great and pious monarch king bharat due to his extreme attachment to a deer and had to spend one's life in a deer's body before again attaining a human form yes please thank you kanak king bharat was a wise and experienced maharaj who one might have thought would rule for hundred of years but while in the prime of life he renounced everything his queen family and his vast empire and went into the forest in so doing he was following the advice of the great sages of ancient india who recommend that one devotee the latter part of one's life to self realization king bharata knew that his position as a great monarch was not permanent therefore he did not try to keep the royal throne until death after all even a king's body ultimately become dust ashes or food for worms and other animals but within the body is the imperishable soul the self the real self through the process of yoga the self can be awakened to its true spiritual identity once this occurs the soul need not spend another term of imprisonment within this material body yes you should do understanding that the real purpose of life is to free oneself from the cycle of reincarnation king bharata journeyed to a sacred place of pilgrimage called pula ashrama in the foothills of the himalayas there the former king lived alone in a forest along the bank of gandaki river instead of his royal dress he now wore only a deer skin garment His hair and beard grew long and matted, matted, and always appeared wet because he bathed three times a day in the river. Hmm. Each 
next morning, Bharat worshipped the Supreme Lord by chanting the hymns given in the Rig Veda. And as the sun rose, he recited the following mantra. The Supreme Lord is situated in pure goodness. He illuminates the entire universe. By virtue of his different potency, he maintains all living beings desiring material enjoyment and he bestows all benediction upon his devotees. Okay. So later in the day, he collected various fruits and roots and as recommended in the Vedic, Vedic scriptures, he offered these simple edibles to Lord Krishna, the Supreme Personality of Godhead, and then took them for his food. Even though he had been a great king surrounded by worldly opulence, now by the strength of his austerities, all his desires for material enjoyment vanished. Thus he became free from the root cause of bondage in the cycle of birth and death. Yes, Okay. Yes, Prabhu. Okay. Is it is visible. Yes, it is visible. Please continue. I don't know why it is loaded here. It's not like it's loaded here. It's I can read whenever my turn comes. Okay, okay, Prabhuji. Where is it, Prabhu? Floored from his eyes. यहां से पढ़ना है बाइस कॉन्सेंट मेडिटेशन बाय हिज कांस्टेंट बाय हिज कांस्टेंट मेडिटेशन अपॉन द पर्सनालिटी ऑफ गॉड भरत बिगिन टू एक्सपीरियंस सिम्टम्स ऑफ स्पिरिचुअल एस्टेसी हिज आर्ट वाज लाइक अ लेक फिल विद द वाटर ऑफ एस्टेसी लव एस्टेटिक लव एंड व्हेन हिज माइंड बेथेड इटसेल्फ इन द इन दैट लेक टीयर्स ऑफ जॉय फ्लोड फ्रॉम हिज आईज ओके one day, while Bharat was meditating near the bank of the river, a doe came there to drink. While she drank, a lion in the forest nearby rode loudly. The doe was pregnant, and as she jumped in great fear and ran from the river, a baby deer fell from her womb into the swiftly flowing rivers, and the doe, shivering in fright and weak, from the miscarriage, entered a cave where she soon died. Yes, Navin uh, Prabhuji. Thank you, Hare Krishna. As the sage observed the fawn floating down the river, he felt great compassion. Bharata lifted the animal from the water and knowing it to be motherless, brought it to his ashrama. Bodily differences are meaningless from the viewpoint of a learned transcendentalist. Because Bharata was a self-realized, he saw all living beings with equal vision. Knowing that both the soul and the super soul, supreme lord, are present within the bodies of all, he daily fed the deer with fresh green grass and tried to make it comfortable. Soon, however, he began to develop great attachment for the deer. He lay down with it, walked with it, bathed with it, and even ate with it. When he wanted to enter the forest to collect fruits, flowers, and roots, he would take the deer with him, fearing that if he left it behind, it would be killed by dogs, jackals, or tigers. Bharata took great pleasure seeing the deer leap and frolic in the forest like a child. Sometimes he would carry the fawn on his shoulders. His heart was so filled with love for the deer that he would keep it on his lap during the day. And when he slept, the deer would rest upon his chest. He was forever pet petting the deer and would sometimes even kiss it. Thus, his heart became bound to the deer in affection. Hmm. Being attached to raising the deer, Bharat gradually become neglectful of his medita meditation upon the Supreme Lord. He thus become distracted from the path of self-realization, which is the actual goal of human life. The Vedas reminded us that the human form is obtained only after the soul undergoes millions of births in lower species of life. This material world is sometimes compared to an ocean of birth and death, and the human body is compared to solid wood designed to cross this ocean. The Vedic scriptures and the saintly teachers or spiritual masters are compared to expert boatmen and the facilities of the human body are compared to favorable breezes 
that help the boat fly smoothly to desired destination. If with all the face, if all these facilities, a person does not fully utilize his life for self-realization, then he commits spiritual suicide and risks taking his next work in an animal body. Yes. However, so, even though, however, even though Bharat was aware of these considerations, he thought to himself, "Because this deer has taken shelter of me, how can I neglect it?" Even though it is disturbing my spiritual life, I cannot ignore it. To neglect, to ne to neglect a helpless person who has taken shelter of me would be a great fault. Hmm. One day, as Bharat was meditating, he began, as usual, to think of the deer instead of the Lord. Breaking his concentration, he glanced around to see where the deer was, and when he could not discover it, his mind becomes agitated like that of a miser who has lost his money. He got up and searched the area around his ashram, but the deer was nowhere to find. Hmm. Bharat thought, when, all, when will my deer return? Is it safe from tigers and other animals? When shall I again see it wandering in my garden, eating the soft green grasses? Hmm. As a day wore on and the deer still did not return. Bharat became overwhelmed, Bharat became overwhelmed with anxiety, anxiety. Has my deer been eaten by a wolf or a dog? Has it just been attacked by a herd of wild boars or by a tiger who travels alone? The sun is now setting and the poor animal who has trusted me since its mother died has not yet returned. He remembered how the deer would play with him, touching it with, him, with the points of its soft. Fuzzy horns. He remembered how he could, how would sometimes push the deer away from him, pretending to be annoyed with. Hare Krishna. Yeah, pretending to be annoyed. He remembered how, how he would sometimes push the deer away from him, pretending to be annoyed with it for disturbing his worship or meditation, and how it would return then immediately, become fearful, and sit down distance away. Hmm. You continue. My, my dear is exactly like a little prince. Oh, when will he gain again return? When will he again pacify my wounded herd? Unable to restrain himself, Bharat set out after the deer, following its tiny hoof prints in the moonlight. In his madness, he began to talk to himself. This creature was so dear to me that I feel as though I have lost my own son. Due to this burning fever of separation, I feel as if I were in the middle of a blazing forest fire. My heart is now blazing with distress. Hmm. Yes, sir. While frantically searching for the lost year along the dangerous forest paths, Bharata suddenly fell and was fatally injured. Lying there at the point of death, he saw that his deer had suddenly appeared and was sitting at his side, watching over him just like a loving son. Thus, at the moment of his death, the king's mind was focused completely on the deer. In Bhagavad Gita, we learn, whatever state of being one remembers when he quits his body, the state he will attain without... Yes. King Bharata becomes a deer. In his next life, King Bharata enters the body of a deer. Most living entities are not able to remember their past lives. But because of the spiritual progress the king had made in his previous incarnation, he could even though in the body of a deer understand the cause of his taking birth in dead body. He began to lament. What a fool I was. I, was, I have fallen from the path of self-realization. I gave up my family and kingdom and went to a solitary holy place in the forest to meditate where I always contemplated the Lord of the universe. But due to my foolishness, I let my mind become attached to all things a dear. And now I've just received such a body. No one is to blame but myself. Yes, Prabhu. But even as a dear, Bharat loved. But even as a dear, Bharat, having learned a valuable lesson, was able to continue his progress in self-realization. He became detached from all material desires. He has no longer cared for the selectant green grasses, nor did he give a thought to how long his 
antlers would grow similarly he similarly he gave up the company of all deers male and female alike leaving his mother in the kalranja mountains where he has been born he returned to prashram the very place where he had practiced meditation in his previous life but this time he was careful never to forget the supreme personality of god it staying near the hermitage of the great saints and sages and avoiding all contact with materialists he lived very simply eating only a hard dry leaf when the time of death come the bharat was leaving the body of the deer calling prayers the supreme the, the supreme personality of god it is the source of all knowledge the controller of all the entire creation and the super soul within the heart of every living being he is a he is beautiful and attractive i am quitting this body offering obeisances unto him and hoping that i will be perpetually engaged in his transcendental longing service the life of chada maharat in his next life king bharat took birth in the family of a pure saintly brahman priest and was known as jada bharat by the lord's mercy he could again remember his past life in bhagavad gita lord krishna says from me come remembrance knowledge and forgetfulness as he grew up jada bharat became very much afraid of his friends and relatives because they were very materialistic and not at all interested in making spiritual progress the boy was in constant anxiety for the fear that by their influence he would again fall down into animal life therefore although he was very intelligent he behaved just like a madman he pretended to be dull blind and deaf so that mundane people would not try to talk to him but within himself he was always thinking of the lord and chanting his glories which alone can save one from repeated birth and death jada bharat jada bharat's father was filled with affection for his son and in his heart he hoped that jada bharat would someday become a learned scholar therefore he tried to teach him the intricacies of vedic knowledge but jada bharat purposely behaved like a fool so that his father would abandon his attempts to instruct him if his sarada told him to do something he would do exactly the opposite nevertheless jada bharat's father until the time of his death always tried to instruct the boy jada bharat <coughs> jada bharat's nine step brothers considered him dull and brainless and when their father's their father died they abandoned all attempts to educate him they could not understand jada bharat in in each, uh, inner spiritual advancement but jada bharat never protested their mis- mistreatment for he was completely liberated from the bodily concept of life whatever food come his way he would accept it and eat whether it is it was much or little palatable or unpalatable since he was in full transcendental consciousness he was not disturbed by material dualities like heat and cold his body was as strong as bulls and his limbs were very muscular he did not care for winter's cold summer's heat wind or rain because his body was perpetually dirty <clears throat> His spiritual knowledge and effulgence was were covered just like a valuable gem covered by dirt and grime. Each day he was insulted and neglected by ordinary people who considered him to be nothing more than a use, useless fool. Vijay's was a small portion of unpalatable food stuffs provided by his brother, who made him work like a slave in the fields, but he was unable to perform even. because he did not know where to spread the dirt or where to make the ground level for food his brother gave him broken rice rice chaff and old cakes warm eaten grains and buried grains that had stuck to the bottom of the cooking pot but jad jad bharat jad bharat gladly accepted all these as if it is were nectar and he never held any grudges he does display the symptom of a perfectly self realized soul Once a leader of a band of thieves and murderers went to the temple of the goddess Bhadrakali to offer and sacrifice a dull, unintelligent human. Being resembling an animal, such sacrifices are nowhere to mention in the Vedas and were concocted by the robbers for the purpose of gaining material wealth. Their plan was foiled. however when the man who was to have been sacrificed escaped so the chief robber sent his henchmen 
out to find him, searching through fields and forests in the darkness of night. The robbers came to the rice field and saw Jada Bharat, who was sitting on high ground, guarding the field against the attacks of wild boars. Jada Bharat would be a perfect sacrifice. Their faces shining with happiness and robbers bound him with strong ropes and brought him to the temple of the goddess Kali. Jada Bharat, because of his complete faith in the protection of supreme Lord, is not the best. There is a song by a famous spiritual master that reads, My Lord, I am now surrendered unto you. I am your eternal servant. And if you like, you can kill me, or if you like, you can protect me. In any case, I am fully surrendered unto you. Hmm. The robbers bathed Jada Bharat dressed him in a new silk gown and decorated him with ornaments and garlands. They fed him a fast meal and brought him before the goddess, whom they worshipped with songs and prayers. Jada Bharat was forced to sit before the deity, and one of the thief, thief priests. Raised the razor sharp saw to slit Jada Bharat's throat so they could offer Kali his warm blood as liquor. But the goodness could not bear this. She understood that the sinful thieves were about to kill a great devotee of the Lord. Suddenly, the form of the deity burst open and the goddess uh, herself appeared her body burning with an in, in, intense, intolerable effulgence. The infuriated goddess flashed her blazing eyes and displayed her fiery curved teeth. Her eyes, crimson orbs, glowed, and she appeared as if she were prepared to destroy the entire cosmos. Leaping violently from the altar, she quickly decapitated, decapitated all the rogues and thieves with the very sword with which they had intended to kill the saint Jad Bharat. Jad Bharat instructs Kin Rahu Guna. After his escape from the Kali temple, Jad Bharat continued his wanderings, remaining aloof from ordinary materialistic men. Yes, Roji, you should do. One day, a king Raghuran. Ragu, Raguna of uh, so, so it's T or I? I. Sovira. 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 Uh, one day, King Raguna of Sovira was being carried through the district on a plane queen resting on the shoulder of several servants. The men who were fatigued began to falter, falter realizing that they would need another carrier to help them across the is. is is Kumati River. The king's servants began searching for someone. Soon they saw Jad Bharat, who appeared to be a very good choice because he, is a very, he was very young and strong on, as an ox. But because he saw all the living beings as his brother, Jad Bharat could not perform this task very well. He walked As he walked, he kept stopping to be sure that he wasn't stepping on any hands. According to the subtle but precise law of reincarnation, all living mean, living entities must remain time in a particular body because before being promoted to a higher form. When an animal is killed, killed before its time, the soul must return to that same species to complete his engagement in that type of body. Oh. <laughs> Therefore, the Vedas enjoys that one should always avoid whimsically killing uh, um, whimsically killing other living beings. Unaware yeah. of what was causing the delay, King Raguna shouted, What's going on? Can't you carry this thing properly? Why is my, my plank when shaking like this? Hmm. Hearing the threatening voice of the king, the frightened servants replied that the disturbance was being caused by Jada Bharat. The king angrily chastised him, sarcastically accused Jada Bharat of carrying the palanquin like a weak a skinny, tired old man, but Jada Bharat, who understood his true spiritual identity, knew that he was not his body. He was neither fat nor lean nor thin, nor did he have anything to do with the lump of flesh and bones that comprises comprised his body. He knew that he was an eternal spirit soul situated within the body, like a driver within a machine. 
Therefore, Jadabharat remained unaffected by the king's angry criticism. Even if the king were to order him killed, he would not have cared because he knew that the soul is eternal and can never be killed. As Lord Krishna says in the Gita, the soul is not slain when the body is slain. Yes, yeah, okay. Jadabharat remained silent and kept carrying the palanquin as before. But the king, unable to control his temper, shouted, You rascal, what are you doing? Don't you know that I am your master? For your disobedience, I shall now punish you. My dear king, said Jared Bharat, whatever you have said about me is true. You seem to think that I have not labored hard enough to carry a palanquin. That is true, because I am not carrying a palanquin at all. My body is carrying it, but I am not my body. You accuse me of not being very stout and strong. But this mainly shows your ignorance of the spirit soul. The body may be fat or thin or weak or strong, but no learned man would say such things about the real self within. As far as my soul is concerned, it is neither fat nor skinny. Therefore, you are correct when you say that I am not very strong. Jadbharat then begins to instruct King saying, you are Lord and Master. You think you are Lord and Master. And you are therefore trying to command me. But this is also incorrect. Because these positions are ephemeral. Today you are a king and I am your servant. But in your reverse. You may be my servant and I am your master. Just as the waves of the ocean brings pieces of straw together and then break them apart, the force of eternal time brings living entities together in temporary relationships such as master and servant and then breaks them apart and rearranges them. Hmm. Okay, should we stop? Okay, okay please. Okay, we can start with the learning. <clears throat> Sanak, you want to share? Yes. Um, so today's realization are Jesse Amne Jada Bharat says Hikaki, he became fool. Jabo born way to wo ek fool ki act karne lage because he remembered in his previous life ki main purpose kya hai so mujhe ek bahut achhi baat lagi ki even though wo he was surrounded with the materialistic person so he was acting like a deaf and dumb person ki na kuch sunai de raha hai na kuch uh, bolne bol pa raha hai to mujhe wo cheez bahut acha laga ki when we realize ki kya hai uh, what is the main purpose so we should also become dumb and deaf to the surroundings so then only we can advance in the spiritual life agar sab wohi wali baat hai spiritual life or material life balance nahi kar payenge to ek cheez ko leke dumb ya deaf banna padega so it is up to you ki aap spiritual life ko leke dumb ya deaf banna chahte hain ya material life ko leke so that is my very important realization for today hari krishna okay thank you mere realization ki hai ki matlab we need to be out of our comfort zone uh, process it, it is not easy abhi hum bharat maharaj ko dekhe ki he was the learned soul he was self realized soul uske baad bhi matlab he took sanyas from the from his kingdom aur uske baad bhi wo ek hiran ke bacche se matlab attract ho gaye even no uh, even though he know he knows what is the real knowledge and what are the consequences of attachment क्योंकि उसी को फॉलो करते उन्होंने वो किंगडम छोड़ा था बट वो अगेन एक 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 एनिमल से अटैच हो गए उसके बाद उसकी वजह से वो अगले जन्म में फिर हिरन बने और उसकी वजह से वो अगले जन्म में उन्हें ये सब प्रॉब्लम्स भी फेस करनी पड़ी जब वो जड़ बरत बने <coughs> तो मतलब मेरे मेरे को यही अंडरस्टैंडिंग है कि जैसे उसमें कि उन्हें जो मिल रहा है खाने को उन्होंने खा लिया जैसा मिला वैसा खा लिया तो I think uh, we need to uh, get out of our comfort zone if we want to achieve something in bhakti. Yes, that's all from my side. Ishu Prabhu, you want to share something? 
Do you remember the Prabhupada lectures in one's lecture that Prabhupada explaining why King Bharat got in a, at the first place he got foul on that he attached to deer. The main reason Prabhupada is telling that he he did not have any association in the forest while doing meditation and all the spiritual practice. Mm. That was a major part of मतलब जो play किया उनके fall down में King Bharat के जब से सब सबसे पहले starting में तो वो पॉइंट मुझे बहुत अच्छा लगा याद आया मुझे अभी पढ़ते हुए कि प्रभुपाद बोल रहे थे कि किंग भरत का इसलिए फॉल डाउन हुआ कि ही लॉस द एसोसिएशन ऑफ अदर डिवोटीज इन हिस्स स्पिरिचुअल लाइफ और जहां एसोसिएशन खो दी तो वहां फिर फॉल डाउन तो पक्का है फिर कोई भी भी स्टेज में हो आप स्पिरिचुअल लाइफ के तो दैट इज क्वाइट इंटरेस्टिंग तो वो मुझे याद आया और लास्ट टाइम कल हम पढ़ रहे थे वो भी बहुत अच्छा था वो चित्र केतु का हम जो पढ़ रहे थे कल स्टोरी कल हमने डिस्कशन नहीं किया था तो वो बहुत स्ट्रेट फॉरवर्ड था जो था पता नहीं कैसे पहुंच जाते हैं इतने सेल्फ लाइफ जोन में और ऐसी बातें बोलते हैं बट दैट इज दी स्टेज वी हैव टू अचीव वो बहुत इंटरेस्टिंग थी कल की कॉन्वर्सेशन भी जो पढ़ रहे थे हम प्रभु प्रभु के साथ तो वो भी बहुत इंटरेस्टिंग लगा था मुझे दिस इज ऑल माई Thank you, thank you, Prabhuji. Uh, Swati Mata Ji, you want to share something? Hello, Krishna. Hello, Krishna. I was not on mute. I just realized. Sorry. No, yes. I actually, I have told you that you are ready. बट हाँ मतलब मुझे हमेशा से ही ना वो जड़ भरत वाली जो प्रभु प्रभुपा जी भागवत में भी बताते हैं जैसे तो मुझे हमेशा से वो अच्छी लगती है कि कोई इंसान कैसे बिल्कुल न्यूट्रल हो सकता है कि मतलब उसे कोई असर ही नहीं हो रहा है कोई कुछ भी बोल रहा है कोई कुछ कर रहा है उसके साथ और कोई असर ही नहीं हो रहा है तो जैसे कनक माता जी ने बोला की हमें वैसा होना चाहिए एक्चुअली अगर या तो हम बैलेंस तो कर नहीं सकते मेटेरियल है स्पिरिचुअल लाइफ में दो भी ट्राई बट स्टिल इट इज वेरी वेरी टफ तो हमें खुद ही चूज करना पड़ेगा तो इट इज अ गुड एग्जांपल जो जड़ भरत से हमें सीखने को मिलता है थैंक यू नवीन प्रभु जी यू वांट टू शेयर समथिंग Yes, Prabhu ji. I like. Uh, I mean, everything is <laughs> you know very good and shared. But one point which uh, probably you might have shared, but me, Rashad, don't know. Yeah. Regarding when, 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 पिता भाव बोली है या मात्र भाव बोली है वो उनके अंदर यू नो जागृत हो जाता है और वो इतना अटैचमेंट हो जाता है तो मैं वही सोच रहा था कि डजेंट मैटर आप घर में हैं बाहर हैं जंगल में हैं लेकिन द मोमेंट यू डेवलप दैट अटैचमेंट फिर वो अपना ऑब्जेक्टिव पूरी तरह से चला जाता है अभी इसमें क्वेश्चन ये हो सकता है कि जो मेरे दिमाग में यही चल रहा था क्वेश्चन की भाई हमारे भी बच्चे होते हैं हम फिर कृष्ण कॉन्शियस है तो हम क्या करना चाहिए तो इस ये मेरे दिमाग में क्वेश्चन है एक्चुअली जो मुझे क्लियर आई एम लुकिंग फॉर द आंसर कि भाई अब जैसे हमारे बच्चे हैं हम उनके लिए बहुत अटैच हो जाते हैं तो और कृष्णा कॉन्शियस भी फॉलो कर रहे हैं हम लोग जपा कर रहे हैं सब कुछ कर रहे हैं बट एक कहीं ना कहीं एक अटैचमेंट हो जाती है तो उस सुनारियों में कैसे सिचुएशन से डील करना है मैं मैं थोड़ा सा इस, ये मेरे लिए क्वेश्चन है मैं आशुन को भी तो शायद ड्रॉप कर दिया नहीं तो मैं उनसे क्लैरिफाई करता या फिर बट ये पॉइंट मेरे को थोड़ा सा स्ट्राइक किया क्योंकि ये बहुत नेचुरल है ना अपने पुत्र से अटैचमेंट होना पुत्र पुत्री ये दोनों ही बातों से तो विच हम बोलते जरूर है अटैचमेंट के लिए बट देखा गया है ऐसा पाया गया कि हम फिर सिक्सटी सिक्सटी ईयर्स के भी हो जाते हैं फिर भी हमारा अपने बच्चे के लिए वो जो प्रेम है वो एक रहता है काफी रहता है उसको छूटता नहीं है वो बच्चा को हम उस तरह से ट्रीट करते हैं सबके साथ तो उसको उसका एक जो आंसर मतलब मतलब थोड़ा मेरा मेंटल स्पेकुलेशन है कि हाँ आपका वो बच्चा अगर 
डिवोटी है भक्त है तो आप एक भक्त को रिमेम्बर कर रहे हैं तो उस प्रकार से सोच सकते हैं लेकिन फिर भी आपको उसे जब तक वो कृष्णा कॉन्शियसनेस अटैच नहीं है तो फिर वो आपको हेल्पफुल तो नहीं होने वाला डेफिनेटली मेंटल प्लेटफॉर्म पर बात कर रहा हूँ आप सही कह रहे हैं मतलब वो मतलब एनलेस एंटिल डिवोटी तो वो बहुत इम्पोर्टेंट है अदरवाइज तो फिर कुछ कह नहीं सकते करेक्ट एनीवेज कल वाली स्टोरी का बहुत वो है मतलब इम्पोर्टेंस आप जो बात कर रहे हो ना तो कल हम वो चतुर के दो महाराज की पढ़ रहे थे उसमें स्टोरी आई थी तो उनका भी अफेक्शनेट था मतलब उनका सन नहीं था और बहुत सालों बाद हुआ और उसके बाद वो तुरंत ही मतलब मृत्यु हो गई थी उनकी उसके बाद नारद मुनि और अंगेरा मुनि उनके पास आते हैं तो कॉन्वर्सेशन करते हैं तो नारद मुनि उन्हें मतलब उनके मरे हुए पुत्र को वो जिंदा करते हैं तो उसके बाद जो वो एग्जांपल्स देते हैं मतलब एनोलॉजी बताते हैं कि व्हाट इज द रिलेशनशिप बिटवीन द फादर एंड द मदर तो वो बहुत स्ट्रेट फॉरवर्ड कॉन्वर्सेशन थी दो उसके नीचे इसके लिए गाइडेंस चाहिए बट हाँ कल का शायद मेरे ख्याल से कल का स्टोरी इसमें काम आ सकता है कि अगर आप उसे दोबारा पढ़ो तो वाली और साथ में पता नहीं ये सत्य है कि नहीं है बट आई लिसन दैट कि ये ना हमारी कंडीशन उसके जैसी है लिजार्ड के जैसी छिपकली के जैसी पता नहीं अब ऐसा सोचती है कि नहीं सोचती छिपकली बट मैंने कहीं सुना था ये कि जब भी छिपकली दीवार पर रहती है ना तो उसके माइंड में स्पेकुलेशन ये चलती रहती है उसका दिमाग ये रहता है कि दीवार मेरे भरोसे टिकी हुई है दैट इज दुलेशन ऑफ लिजार्ड तो हमारी कंडीशन ऐसी है कि दुनिया हमारे ऊपर टिकी हुई है कि हम ये नहीं करेंगे ऐसे ही उस दिन हम लोग गए थे मैं और आलोक प्रभु जी केशवन प्रभु से मिलने तो ऐसे ही बता रहे थे वो मुझे कहते हैं तुम्हें ऐसा लग रहा है कि सारी चीजें तुम्हारे ऊपर टिकी हुई है मैं उन्हें बता रहा था चीजें समझ रहा था उनसे कुछ चीजों के लिए तो वो मेरे से यही बोल रहे थे कि यू आर नॉट द डूअर एयर तो फर्स्ट अंडरस्टैंड दिस उसके बाद अगर तुम्हें रियलाइजेशन पा जाए कोई तब तुम्हारी सारी चीज आगे जाके क्लियर होगी तो देट आई फील की हाँ थोड़ा सा और इसकी डेप्थ की जरूरत है समझने के लिए और इस फेथ को लाने के लिए Yeah, that are, this क्या हो गया होगा बट जो मेरा क्वेश्चन है थोड़ा सा सेम है बट एट दाइम टाइम डिफरेंट है जो ये सारे भाव है बहुत नेचुरल है एक वरी होना एक पिता के लिए अपने पुत्र परिवार के लिए तो वो उसे एज अ डिवोटी हम उसे कैसे देखें कैसे समझें उस भाव को ये कि वो थोड़ा सा मैं समझना चाहता हूँ एनीवेज विल प्रॉब्ली डिस्कस इट टुमारो मैं भी वैसे नवीन प्रभु जी यही सोच रही थी कि जब मतलब ऐसे सुन के लगता है कि भरत महाराज का हिरन से कैसे अटैचमेंट हो गया मतलब मतलब मुझे तो पर्सनली लग रहा था कि ऐसे कैसे अटैचमेंट हो गया वो तो एक एनिमल ही है तो होना था अपने बच्चे से होता मतलब मेरे माइंड में तो वो चीज चल रही थी कि बच्चे मतलब वो नेचुरल है पता नहीं कैसे कुछ रिलेशन ऐसे होते हैं कि उनमें रहता है वो अटैचमेंट तो मेरे माइंड में भी सेम क्वेश्चन वही था वो जब भरत महाराज का चल रहा था कि वो अटैचमेंट को समझना मतलब कैसे अटैच रहते हुए भी डिटैच फील करे वो आई थिंक टफ है या हमें और आगे बढ़ेंगे तब शायद समझ आएगा हाँ राइट राइट बिल्कुल सही बात है जैसे जैसे हम पढ़ेंगे बट मुझे लगता है कि अश्विन प्रभु जी से और या कोई और थोड़ा सीनियर डिवोटी से बात करेंगे दे विल बी एबल टू गिव सम डायरेक्शंस या ठीक है प्रभु जी आई थिंक इन टॉपिक थैंक यू थैंक यू कृपा प्रभुपाद की जय जय Hare Krishna Hare Krishna Thank you for joining Hare Krishna